So at this point, we have an addressing scheme, IP, so that we can map names to numbers and talk about uh, the addresses. One property that we uh, didn't draw out, but you might infer from that picture before, is that packets might get lost as they're traveling through different machines, uh, different routers on the network. Sometimes they go up and down, sometimes they have too many packets. For whatever, whatever reason, it's a property of IP that packets can get lost. They can also get reordered. Uh, a router might sometimes send packets one way and sometimes the other way, or might internally reorder them um, because it's too busy or because uh, it prioritizes things. And so these are facts of life uh, for anything that has to deal with raw IP. We will not deal with raw IP, uh, but UDP is just a thin layer on IP, so it inherits those properties. Packets can get lost, packets can get reordered. We're going to look at UDP for a while, and then again build our way up to TCP. TCP is a much more substantial layer on top of IP. Um, in principle, it could almost be built on top of UDP, but both of uh, UDP and TCP are built on IP instead. TCP is mostly going to hide this packet nature. The fact that these packets are actually sent through a network, uh, a long streams of data are, are broken up into packets, it mostly hides that from you. Uh, TCP also detects when packets have gotten lost and resends them. That's based on actually more messages going back and forth than the ones you explicitly send. So acknowledgement messages come back or timeout not acknowledgement messages may come out so that things get retried. Um, and finally, um, TCP is going to make sure that things arrive at the right order. So it puts some sequence numbers on packets that it sends out so that it can reassemble things. Uh, those particular implementation details are mostly hidden from us, but there are certain things that do come through in the TCP program, TCP model, so it's a little bit helpful to understand the simpler UDP later first.